Hello everybody, Martin Chuck here and I'm at the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona. Your home for great golf in Phoenix. This is also the home of the Tourist Circuit Golf Academy and we run golf schools from October through May every week and we'd love to see you come down here, work with myself and my team. We have a blast and you will get way better at golf. This is a simple tip about low point control. How to get the golf ball, how to collect the golf ball before you touch the ground. Some of the elements I want you to think about and certainly things we work at at the golf school. So I've got a seven iron here and you'll notice I'm using what I call a T-square, an alignment stick with a golf ball location line. So it really helps me understand where the golf ball is within my stance because believe it or not, it's really easy to get messed up with golf ball location. So let's get a little tee down here. You don't need this fancy thing, although I love it. This is called the golfer's toolbox. You can just use two aim sticks and you'll be all set. So you have one down for target line and you have one down for ball location line and just hit some shots and we'll see what happens here. As I hit a little shot, there's a nice crisp strike and you'll notice that my club had an exchange with the ground that was fractionally ahead of the golf ball. Now the elements that help you do that, you gotta understand that golf is this athletic event where we're trying to unwind for power. Well, while we unwind, while this unwinding event happens, we're also relocating ourselves onto our lead foot. Now, I know you know how to do that, but some of you don't, and you wonder, man, Martin, why can't I get to my lead foot? Why do I always feel like I fall back when I hit it? I don't look like you. What, what's going on there? Well, what I tell you is, we always respond to the club face, and we always respond to the weight of the club. And if you've taught yourself somewhere in your downswing to have an open face, there's no way you're gonna let yourself relocate while you unwind because you would hit it way offline, okay, for the right-handed golfer right of right. So what you do to get that open face is you hang back and give yourself time to square it. So if you wanna have a swing that can rotate and relocate to quote, get through it, to really hit some crisp shots, Go ahead and get the T-square set up, and let's make sure that your grip is on there nice and neutral, but more importantly, on the way down, that this face is under control, that it's not laying open, because if it's laying open, you're gonna have to back up to give it time to square. So here's the little exercise I want you to do. Build this little setup station, get your good hands on there, get the club parallel to the ground, and make sure the face, the toe of the club is tipped downward a little bit. That right there, everybody, that's impact. You're gonna learn how to go from here to here. How to rotate, how to go from this impact position to take that club and those arms and unwind them onto the ball. So we're gonna go ahead and get comfortable, set up to the golf ball, build this position, and then let the shoulders turn back to the target and hit a crisp little shot out there. That's how you're gonna get a strong face, but with rotation and relocation onto a golf ball. Once you can do that, and use a little tee if you want to, go ahead and start from the golf ball. Instead of starting with the shaft parallel, put the club behind the golf ball and feel as though you can pass through those same areas that you just did in the drill sequence to hit some nice shots. So Martin Chuck signing off from the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona, your place to play. Come on out here and see us. You're going to love the golf course. And if you're so inclined, we'd love to see you at the Tour Striker Golf Academy this winter.